In this lecture, we're going to be looking at the pH scale. By the end of the current lecture, you should be able to use the mathematical relationship between pH and the concentration of H plus ions in solution. You should also be able to recall that the ionic product of water at 25 degrees C is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. As I'm sure you can remember from National 5 and higher, the pH scale is a continuous range which goes from below 0 to above 14, although we generally work within 0 and 14 within the chemistry lab. Now, the actual pH number is directly related to the concentration of hydrogen or hydronium ions in the solution. For example, if the hydrogen ion or hydronium ion concentration in most per litre is 10 to minus 7, so this is all in moles per litre. Then the value of the pH will be 7. If we have a more concentrated solution of hydrogen ions, say 10 to minus 3, the pH is 3. If it's 10 to power 0, which is 1, it will have a pH of 0. If we have a hydrogen ion concentration of 10 to minus 10, the pH will be 10. And if we have a hydrogen ion concentration of 10 to minus 14, the pH will be 14. So the pH number actually refers to the negative power to the base 10. So that pH number that you measure actually gives you a direct measure of the actual hydrogen ion concentration. We're going to look at the ionic product of water now. Now we know that water and all neutral solutions have a pH of 7. So that's telling us what the hydrogen ion concentration is. It means that hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to minus 7 moles per litre. Now, every time a hydrogen ion or a hydronium ion is produced, a hydroxide ion is produced. So, when you've got pH of 7, the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be the same as the hydronium ion concentration, which is 10 to the minus 7. So we've got a hydronium ion and a hydroxide concentration of 10 to minus 7. Now if we write the equilibrium constant for the dissociation of water, so it's the concentration of the products, so H3O plus times OH minus, divided by the concentration of the reactants. But since the reactants are water in an aqueous environment, they are omitted from the equilibrium equation. So the equation for the equilibrium of water is just K equals H3O plus times OH minus. But we know the concentration of these things, they're both 10 to minus 7. So the equilibrium constant for the dissociation of water is 10 to the minus 14. And this is known as the ionic product of water. Product the concentration of the two ions. So the ionic product has a value of 10 to minus 14 for water at 25 degrees C. Now it's a point I haven't made yet but this actually only holds true at room temperature at 25 degrees C. The forward reaction here is endothermic and the reverse reaction is exothermic. So if your water is at a temperature higher than 25 degrees, according to the Chatelier's principle, in order to cool 
it down, the equilibrium will shift in favour of the endothermic reaction. So more of the water will split up, producing more hydronium ions and hydroxide ions, which will change uh, the concentration of these ions, so the ionic product will be greater than 10 to minus 14. So it's worth remembering that the ionic pro product of water increases with temperature because the forward reaction here is endothermic. What that also means, of course, is that water only has a pH of 7 at room temperature. If you increase the temperature of the water, equilibrium shifts to the right, concentration of these ions increases, hydronium ion concentration is higher than 10 to minus 7, and so its pH will be uh, different, it won't be 7 anymore. It doesn't actually vary by an awful lot, but it does vary. Right, now the really useful thing about the ionic product is that it holds true for all aqueous solutions, not just water. So any aqueous solution of any pH, concentration of that times that will equal 10 to minus 14 at the standard temperature and pressure. So that allows us to do some quite interesting calculations. So for example, if we know the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution, then we can calculate the hydronium ion concentration and hence the pH. And if we know the hydrogen ion concentration, we work out the hydroxide ion concentration. To do this, we have to use a bit of maths. Now, those of you who have done indices in maths, uh, probably skip this next wee bit because you know how to do it. If you are forgotten about how to multiply and divide indices, then bear with me for five minutes. So in order to do these calculations, we'll have to multiply together indices and divide them. So I got 10 to the power x and multiply that uh, with 10 to minus 10 to the y. The answer will be 10 to the x plus y. So for example if you got 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 2, your answer is 10 to the power 3 plus 2 it's 10 to the power 5, not 10 to the power 6. When we're doing this with uh, hydrogen ion concentrations, we tend to be working in 10 to the negatives. So say it was 10 to negative 2 multiplied by 10 to negative 4, then the answer is going to be 10 minus 2 plus minus 4, be 10 to minus 6. So that's how you multiply together indices. If we're dividing, so 10 to the power x divided by 10 to the power y, the answer is 10 to the power x minus y. So 10 to the 4 divided by 10 to the 3 equals 10 to the 4 minus 3, so that's just 10 to the power 1. And if it's negative numbers, say 10 to the minus 6 divided by 10 to the minus 2. So the answer will be 10 to the minus 6 minus minus 2. So it's minus 6 plus 2 to so be 10 to the minus 4. Okay. So if you haven't done indices in maths or have forgotten, just have a way to cover that again before we move on to the next section. Okay, so let's try these following calculations. I'll work through the first three ones with you. What is the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution containing 0 0.001 moles per litre of hydrogen ions? Well, according to our ionic product, we know that if you multiply together the H plus ions, the H minus ions, you'll get 10 to minus 14. The hydrogen ion concentration is given in this question, so 10 to the minus 14 equals, that's 
1, 2, 3, so that's 10 to minus 3 times the hydroxide ion concentration. So the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to minus 14 divided by 10 to minus 3, which equals 10 to minus 14 minus minus 3, so that's 10 to minus 11. So the concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution is 10 to minus 11 moles per litre. Second example, what is the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution with a pH of 5? Right, so if the pH is 5, that tells us that the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus 5. So 10 to the minus 14 will equal our H plus times our OH minus concentrations. So it's 10 to the minus 5 times the hydroxide ion concentration. So rearrange the equation, the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 5. So minus 14 minus minus 5, so it's minus 14 plus 5, that's 10 to the minus 9 moles per litre. So, if we work out the hydroxide ion concentration given either the pH or the hydrogen ion concentration. The final example I'm going to work through is this. So, what is the concentration of hydrogen ions and the pH in a solution containing 0 0.01 moles per litre of hydroxide ions? So, 10 to minus 14 equals H plus times OH minus. We don't know H plus, but we know that OH minus is 0 0.01, which is 10 to the minus 2. So the H plus ion concentration is 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 2. So minus 14 minus minus 2, that equals 10 to the minus 12 moles per litre. Okay. So that's answer to A. Answer to B of course, if the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to minus 12, the pH will equal 12. Okay, I'd like you to pause the tape now and try and do these three calculations. Right, so hopefully for the first question, the concentration of the hydroxide ions, you should got a value, should have got a value of 10 to minus 12 moles per litre. For the second question, the concentration of hydroxide ions, should have been 10 to the minus 5 moles per litre. And for the final question, the concentration of the hydroxide ions, sorry, the concentration of the hydrogen ions should have been 10 to minus 13 moles per litre, giving you a pH of 13. So by now you should be able to use the mathematical relationship between pH and the concentration of H plus ions in solution. You should also recall that the ionic product of water at 25 degrees C is 1 times 10 to the minus 14.